Dusky Flathead are without doubt one of the most popular targeted recreational species in the country. And here in Victoria, we are so lucky that our fishery is going from strength to strength. However, for our fishery to continue, we need to look after those big breeding female flathead. And that first of all comes in a slot limit. Any fish over 55 centimetres must be released. And that's so that those fish can grow, reproduce and repopulate our estuary system. To release these big flathead properly, we need to do the right thing. And information provided through the Victorian Fisheries Authority and VR Fish will help you as anglers release those big fish so they survive. The release practices required for big female flathead to survive are through scientific research, veterinarian practices, and also through anglers who target these large fish on a regular basis. When you're targeting these big flathead, you've got to be prepared. That means not running around when the fish is at the boat, have everything ready. First of all, a large rubber mesh net. We don't want the nylon with the knots in it. This stuff's soft, it doesn't damage the fish in any way. You also need to have a set of gloves so you can get a thumb grip on that flathead and support that body weight to look after the fish. Have your brag mat ready, a set of pliers, and then your phone or a camera so you can get that photo of potentially the fish of a lifetime. These are the key elements so that fish survives. It's really important to reduce air time on these big flathead, or any fish for that matter. Try and aim for 30 seconds or less time of fish out of the water. If it's going to take longer, put the fish back in the net, put it in the water, get yourself ready, and then you can lift it out for more photos. Once you've got that flathead in the net, gently does it is the key. Take the hooks out of the fish while it's in the net, in the water. If you've got a big live well, you can put it into that and then take the hooks out. When you pick that fish up, have wet gloves, thumb in the bottom jaw, support the body weight so we don't stretch any internal organs. And finally, when that flathead goes back in the water, hold it there so it can get its breath back. Don't rock the fish back and forward. It will suck water through its gills. That's the key when she's ready. She'll swim off and go and breed some more. Don't drop it so fast, that's it. Here he comes. This is all part of using bait for flathead. When you use, use a circle hook, so you hook that fish in the corner of the jaw. And most importantly, fish with a tight line. I like to use a bigger hook because flathead have a big mouth, so with a big circle, you get that really good hook up just like that in that corner of the jaw there. Circle hook, corner of the jaw, tight line. It's pretty simple. Can we let this one go? Okay. Yep. There he is. Guide this guy around. You alright? Clubs are handy. Net's handy. He's not massive, but he'll do. Just I'll guide him up to you. Okay. Wait till he comes around. Wait till he comes around. In wait, wait, wait. There you go. He's in. Cool, just leave them in the water. Oh, sweet. The hooks have actually come out in that flathead. All right, Bronnie, we can lift it in. You all right? Beautiful. It's a slightly better sized fish, that one. All right, we're going to go straight from the wet net onto the board. What have we got? 71 centimetres. All righty. Get a quick photo together, Bronnie, and we'll chuck this one back. What do you reckon? All right, when you pick them up, hand under the belly, hands actually all wet from the mat and the fish. And there you go. All right, let's pop this one back. Now it's important we get this fish back as quickly as possible. And the other key factor in this fish's survival, oh, Oh, he's ready to go, that one. It's because it's been out of the water for a very short time. And that is because we're using heavier tackle. And that's a key element in the survival of 
these big flathead fish, heavier tackle, heavier leader, so you keep that fight time really short. Doesn't put as much stress on the fish. You get it in, get it back in the water quickly, and you can get back to fishing. Your turn. One great method you can use is to get yourself and the fish into some shallow water. Here you have all the time in the world to revive the fish and get some great photos. Most of all, however, remember to never hang that fish vertically or use lip grip style release devices. From here, support the fish's body weight and hold its bottom jaw with a glove thumb. 